guys welcome back to my channel long time no see right uh for those of you that have just tuned in hey i'm jessica brianne and welcome to my channel um go ahead and hit that subscribe button while you're here that way you can be notified of any upcoming videos that i have so today's video today's video is going to be a product review on protect your pump soul protectors and kind of also featuring two pairs of Christian Louboutin shoes that I have recently purchased. So once I purchased these shoes, it became a debate about the red soles. Was I going to go ahead and just wear the shoes as all, as they are? And then when the time comes to get them resold, find the cobbler and go that route? Or did I want to do some kind of protection on the soles so that the red sole is protected? And I did decide to go ahead and protect the soles, hence this video. And I use a product that I found out through Instagram from LVOE Luxury. I'll um, put her Instagram name in the uh, description box so you can find it. But uh, I follow her on Instagram and this was something that she mentioned she used and she's got Valentino's, Christian Louboutins and a couple of other different shoes. And it was something she raved about because she even had um, a photo, I think, where she showed one pair of her shoes that she didn't protect versus another pair of shoes that she did protect after. I believe it was just one wear. So I was kind of sold and decided to give that product a try. Now this product I did purchase with my own money. Uh, I just decided to do a video review for those who may be interested in this product as well. So first off, it shipped in a padded mailer, so that was nice. And the product comes in an envelope. So protect your pumps. It's got um, what it can protect from on the back. So scuff marks, scratches, dirt and grime, wear and tear. On the front, you open the envelope and it's got kind of like a little mission thank you statement on the top. Down below is a card insert about their painted soles. Then there's the product. That's it. It's just some sheets of stickers. And when you take them all out behind, try to zoom in so you guys can see, these are the instructions. It's pretty simple. So basically you just trace the shoe. Um, then you'll have the traced on the paper, cut it out, peel the sticker off and place it on the shoe. So. Simple instructions. Um, on the red sole card is um, pretty much saying just kind of extra precautions for using it on the painted soles. Uh, be careful when you're removing, wear and tear, different things like that. And also it advises that if you do use it on a painted sole to use two protectors on it. And they say that way, the first protector always stays on and protects the painted sole. And the second protector you can take on and off as it wears down to um, protect from the dirt and grime and scratches. That way you never have to worry about removing that first layer of protection off your painted sole. So, initial thoughts. Um, I was happy to see it came in a padded envelope. That was nice. Um, I mean, these things, I was also kind of like, it's so thin. Like, that's it. Like, I kind of was... I guess it was a good thing and a bad thing. Like, I guess I was just underwhelmed by it. I thought it was, would be more, but I mean, it covers, I know you can't see it cause it's clear, but where my nails are is where the sticker is. So it's got a little bit of white space on the edge where the sticker is not there, but everything else is actually the sole protector. So it's really easy. I flipped it over, put the shoe on, traced the shoe, cut it out, peeled it off, stuck it on the shoe. Like, really just kind of how the instructions are said. So for the eye candy of this video, let's see some shoes, right? So the very first pair that I bought were actually in March and they are the Decolleté 100s. So very pretty pointed toe stiletto. And these I have not worn yet. Um, I have placed the two layers of the, uh, the sole protector sheet on there. And as you can see, I mean, you can see the shine from it. From this angle, like, it's just a painted sole. 
here is, I guess, your line of demarcation right there where the uh, protector stops and the regular painted soil is. I mean, there's hardly any air bubbles. I mean, it's almost seamless. And I did do that on both. Now, these were the first pair that I did protect. And I will say, um, as far as the application, it seems simple, like, okay, I trace it, cut it out, peel it off, and you're like, that was really easy. Then comes the placement. So you're looking at this brand spanking new painted red sole, and you're trying to put a sticker on it, thinking, if it's not on right and peeling it off, I might peel off the red paint. So it's all about anxiety. But you just kind of, you get the shoe again. I say if you're working on a pointed toe sole, you start right here at the tip and just kind of line up like a little mini triangle and then just work your way down and smooth everything as you go. So smooth all the way from edge to edge and just work it down. And once you start doing that, it's not as bad. There were some times where I'd trap an air bubble or it wasn't lined up all the way and I was able to peel it off without messing up the um, paint. Just go really slow. And I never did peel probably more than maybe that much at a time. So I went really slow, got the first layer on, and breathed a sigh of relief. <laughs> when it was time for the second layer, I actually found that was easier. And it's probably just because at that point, you're just putting a sticker on top of a sticker. You know your red sole is painted. So the second layer is easier than the first layer. Now one thing I do want to say as far as the size of the sheet, and I mean, it still worked. I was able to cover the whole um, shoe is that I wear a size 41. So in a pointed, um, a pointed shoe, I mean, that's kind of a pretty big toe box area. So I did barely kind of make the whole sheet because with the width right here, you know, you have to be careful, you know, adjusting. Let me show you. So now you can kind of see like, you gotta kind of watch how you really place it to make sure you're not sticking out there, you're not sticking out on the side, and that everything is covered. But again, I wear a size 41, I got big feet. <laughs> and it's still protected everything. I mean, we all know the pressure points are gonna be here in the middle, so it is protected. Now, the other pair of shoes that I have and protected, are a pair of booties. So these are the Bell 100 suede booties. Are they so cute? I love them. These I just got like a month ago, I think. I finally wore them. I'm so excited. So these I have worn once, so you can see the soles. See a little bit of dirt and grime on there, but not too much. So it definitely does its job. It protects the shoe. Now, these are also a round toe application so the application on this was definitely harder than the pointed toe still not ridiculously hard but it was a little more frustrating just because i guess without a straight line it was kind of harder to get everything to line up just exactly but you can see that i still was able to get it done you do see a little bit more puckering on the edges and a couple of air bubbles and I think that's just because of the rounded edge, it was hard to get everything to line up perfectly straight, but they're protected from edge to edge. And that's more what I was worried about. And the pucker down here is mostly the second layer, so not too bad. And it's on the edge, so not a big deal. And I mean, look at it, it's basically, I mean, the one spot right there that got on the shoe. And then like, if you look super close, which is not gonna pick it up on camera, you can kind of see like a little bit of dirt and grime, but I mean, it did its job, y'all. Like, it's protected. That's what we want. So, I, I like them. I mean, my red soles will stay red, so I'm excited about it. As far as a kind of quick review on the shoes, I have still not worn the decolletes. Mm -mm. I'm just now getting back into, I guess, wearing high heels again, which is, 
actually well, I treated myself to some of these and I didn't break in those decolletes. We have not decided to go anywhere short enough where I can wear them. So as of now, I still put them on in the house for a little bit and walk around. And I think I'm close to being able to wear them out. I think I'm close. Now the bells, you guys, oh my gosh, those are comfy. Like I was able to wear them yesterday without wearing heels for probably at least a year, probably more than that, years, probably plural years. But I think I had them on for five hours. Now, not all of it was walking or standing, but five hours in a brand spanking new pair of shoes, I think it's pretty good. Now at the end of those five hours, they were hurting a little bit, but well, maybe, maybe a lot. I'll be truthful, it was kind of a lot. <laughs> but I was also walking back, so putting on pressure after having them on for five hours, up and down, up and down, so. Definitely, if you're thinking about some booties and you're definitely thinking of getting these bell booties, I say definitely go for it. They were, they were comfy and it does come in a, I think a 85 millimeter size if you want something a little shorter. And it also comes in a leather instead of the suede, but I definitely love those booties. They were so, so cute. So I guess final thoughts kind of, definitely if you're thinking about protecting your painted soles or probably just any expensive designer shoe soles even even if it's not expensive i mean how many times have you gone and got a shoe worn it and a couple of times later you look at the bottom and it's basically eating away at the sole like it's thinning out you've got pitted soles and all that so a small you know protector sheet to help preserve that and make a shoe last longer why not as far as the wear and tear like i said i've only worn the bell booties once and it held up great. I think the recommendation from the company is to do, I think they say about five wears and you switch it out. But I do know for a fact it does say that after every wear, you should check your sole and kind of look it over, make sure that the sole protector is still in place. If there's a lot of dirt and grime or just anything, kind of wipe it, wipe it off and that I'll make sure to preserve the integrity of the shoe. So I will hopefully update you guys once I've gotten a couple more wears. Maybe I'll even film a video doing an update, showing um, switching the top layer out again, just so you can kind of see that their, I guess, recommendation to do two layers does work. Because I mean, yeah, it held up after one wear, but will it really hold up but i think that's testament to the product right there to wear a shoe for five hours and you can hardly see anything they um they have an instagram account a website all that jazz i'll link it below in the description box um as long with the um the instagram page that i discovered them from um she uh puts things uh i think her description is like Louis Vuitton, makeup, fashion, um, all that kind of stuff. So if it's something you're interested in, maybe check her Instagram account out. Um, I'm, all my info is linked below, you know, my Instagram account, Snapchat, all that jazz. So you can check that out as well. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe because I'm back, y'all. I'm back and I will be coming with the videos. I determined I'm coming with the videos. I've even been thinking about doing vlogmas. Yes, vlogmas. And it probably wouldn't be all vlogs, but I probably do a couple of vlogs and then a couple of beauty videos, maybe different holiday themed videos, challenges, who knows. But I'm thinking about it just kind of to push myself and give you guys some more content on the channel to, you know, keep, keep viewing over the holidays. But Thank you guys for watching. Uh, leave some comments, you know, let me know what you thought. Um, maybe you have a pair of Christian Louboutins. Maybe what's your favorite pair? Maybe you're thinking about getting a pair. I don't know. Leave me, leave me some comments down below. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.